hello welcome to my channel if you are new or welcome back for any returning viewers i am shelly and i'm a full-time reseller on poshmark mercari and ebay and you can also find all of my stores um, as well as my instagram under showbell posh but they will also be linked down in the description below if you want to check any of those out to see how i'm pricing some of these items or anything like that so today's video is a goodwill outlet haul and i ended up grabbing 20 pounds which i'm pretty happy with because that is a bigger um bins haul for me the last few i haven't really been getting a ton and this is also just clothing so there's no shoes or anything like super heavy in here so it really is just like 20 pounds of clothing which is awesome um, i do try to be picky look for stuff that will sell for me um, and stuff that i don't have to do a lot of work to if there's something that is just like maybe an easy um, stain tree or something like that. I will probably pick it up as long as it is a good enough item. Um, but yeah, and let's see. Oh, I got 20 pounds, like I said. Um, the location that I go to is $2 a pound, no matter how many pounds you get. So it was $40. And then I also have some items from the um, traditional Goodwill retail store that's actually in the same building as the bins. Um, I usually go pop into there after I'm done in the bins. Um, so I'll show you those items as well because I found some pretty decent items in there. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, this first item is an item that actually has a couple marks on it that I did not notice in the bin. But I'm hoping they will come out because it is like a cream white color. So there's just some like little yellow spots in a couple places. But this is such a cute piece. This is a like waffle kind of cardigan and it has these like really pretty um i think they're like bishop sleeves the ones that like have a cuff kind of thing and then the buttons are these little tortoise shell flower buttons and yeah so this is made well size extra large so nice size and this was pretty recent as well which was exciting it is from fall 2022 so just a year ago now so yeah i grabbed that but this needs washed and then the next piece i found some um nice pieces that are like plus size pieces i found some torrid and stuff so this is a torrid piece size 3 or 3x and i actually picked up a jacket re really similar to this kind of like a cropped button up little jacket from torrid kind of recently and I, when I first saw it, I was like, this looks a little bit dated for the other one that I found. Um, but it was actually from like, it was either 2021 or 2022. This one is also 2022 and that other one sold pretty quickly. So I grabbed this one. The other one was like a pretty bright blue. So this one's definitely a little bit more neutral, good for fall. So I picked that piece up and then I grabbed this dress and this is from the brand Toad & Co. And i like selling their dresses a lot i have sold other items from them but it seems like their dresses do the best for me they're kind of just like a athletic-y athleisure dress this one this style is the rosemary dress and this one is a size small picked that piece up and then oh i was excited to find these they are a pair of lululemon shorts here is the logo and they're in really good condition as well and they actually have the rip tag and they are a newer style because they just have the little Lululemon logo on the tag. So um, I've said this in other videos, but the oldest rip tag says Lululemon Athletica still. And then the next newest one just says Lululemon. And then now the newest rip tag has just the little Lululemon logo. So these are size 14, so awesome size and really good condition and everything. I forget what's style this is but it also has the little back pocket and it has all the little numbers and stuff in there so I will just look it up so these are actually from 2023 so this year so that is wild that I got these at the Goodwill outlet but there are those and then next this is my first time picking this brand up but comps look pretty decent this is just a men's polo and it is a navy color and the brand is um, Cricket is a size small so we'll see how this does comps looked around like 30 40 I want to say so hopefully that does decent 
And then this next piece is a hooded long sleeve blouse. And this is from Standard James Purse. It is a size two, which maybe is a medium from them, I think. Their sizing is a little bit different. And it kind of has this like cow neck detail. And yeah, just like a really soft, lightweight layering piece. And this brand retails for um, pretty high. So hopefully that will do pretty well. I think it has kind of a nice following on their pieces. And then a tank top. And this one is from Athleta. And little fuzz on it and this one is a 2x so another good size and then it also has this like twisty kind of open back detail if you can kind of see it it's kind of hard to see but yeah and a nice pretty like plum color so I grabbed that piece and then another torrid piece and this one is floral but I thought it was a cute piece it is size 3 and it is a strapless floral top and then it has like a lace-up tie back in the back and then it also has like little hook and eye closures all down the front which i thought was a cool like added detail so we'll see how this does uh, i personally don't really like strapless stuff but i have seen it kind of popping up recently so we'll see on that piece um some of those pieces like smaller um not as, not as substantial pieces from Tord still do decent for me. They sell more for like the 18 to like 25 range, which from the bins I'm happy with. And then this piece I debated picking up. Again, it is Tord size three because it does have a cold shoulder, but it actually is newer. I think it's from 2020, which isn't, yeah, 2020 It's not super old, but I thought with the fall and like Halloween coming up, this could still be a good piece because it is like this black floral lace. So kind of witchy and gothic. So I'll add those keywords in. This fuzz is going everywhere. Um, I'll add those keywords in and hopefully that will help sell it. So I did end up picking that up. And then these are actually another, or two pairs of Lululemon leggings and they were both with the um, shorts that were Lululemon, but these are actually both a size four. They are older styles, so these are probably only going to sell for like 20 25 but um, I still grab them because they're in good condition. So they are cropped styles. There's a little logo, size 4. And then this one, you probably can wear it up like this, but I think it's supposed to be like rolled down. One thing that is nice about both of these though is they have side pockets. So you can still put your phone in there, which is good even though they are older pieces and then here is this one so these are probably good for like running actually because they have kind of like elastic on the hemline there's the logo again and then yeah both size four so here is the oldest or like the older tag this says lululemon athletica but yeah so they both have pockets which i think is good and phones should fit in there let's see and yeah so i feel like these would be good for running yeah phone fits so i grabbed those like i said they're in good condition but just older styles and then next i grabbed this pair of jeans these are levi's and they are um, part of their quality clothing levi's premium denim and they are size 26 and they are the high rise straight crop so I thought these were good being a straight fit, just kind of a medium wash and like minimal distressing, has like a knee cut out and a raw hem. So I grabbed those. Le Levi's have been doing like decent for me. I've been picking them up at the bins. I am still picky about the style. I won't just grab like any style, but they have been selling okay for me. So I picked that um, pair up as well. Another athletic item and these are some shorts they are from Patagonia. They're a size medium and they do have a like back zipper pocket but unfortunately the little zipper pull is missing so that's unfortunate but I still grabbed them. I'll probably only list them at 25 and we'll see how they do. Hopefully they still will sell 
and there are those and then next oh this came out in the new rotation i knew exactly what it was because i've actually sold this um item in this exact print before so this is the brand rip skirt hawaii and is it actually made in hawaii let's see i don't think it says they might be made in hawaii i'm not sure but they are skirts that actually have like some velcro on them um and they're meant to kind of take you from like beach to like night almost so it's kind of a cover-up but like maybe a little bit nicer than like sheer cover-up or something um they have a few different lengths this style is a little bit older because now the newer styles have like an interior pocket right here and this does not have it so it is a little bit of the older style um this one's an extra small if i didn't say but these sell pretty well for me they sell pretty quickly um i think this is like my third or fourth time now finding this brand so i'm sure this will do pretty well and i don't remember exactly i think it's been like in the 30s to 40s maybe i've sold this i've sold um one on ebay and or maybe all of them on ebay so i sold one for like 40 and one for 45 so yeah and then another Tory piece this piece i'm pretty excited about because it's very pretty it is again Tory size three and this is a maxi length dress it does have a liner underneath that it is attached but you could actually just cut it off if you would want to and then it has some buttons on the front it is more of a long sleeve maybe more like a three four sleeve it has like swiss dot on it and then some elastic and it is is it a tiered yeah it's kind of a tiered skirt as well so yeah this is a really pretty piece and i was excited to find it so hopefully this will do pretty well dresses are like my favorite thing to sell from Torrid, just kind of more substantial pieces do a little bit better so i was excited to find this and it's a really pretty piece and this is really good for the fall as well so i grabbed that and then a couple more items in this bag here is a bra this is the brand cup it is c-u-u-p and there's that and this is the um the balconette style and it is in a 32e and it is a really pretty like sheer brown color so here is that and then this piece this is j crew extra large so a lot of extra large in this haul which is really awesome and this is a sweater but it's like short sleeve it's super super soft and a nice like beige kind of color um, and it is lyocell acrylic polyamide and a little bit of silk so yeah it's super soft this will be a good transitional piece in the fall a little bit of like a puff sleeve as well which is cute okay so that was the first bag and that was all the items that i washed um and everything that did not have new tags and this next bag is all items that are new tags because these had to be seamed and i found quite a few new tag pieces um, some of them are just like old navy target but those still sell for me so i will pick them up at the bins as long as it is a decent style and it's not like super old or anything so this first item is old navy and these are a size large and they are just like a cute little chino short with some elastic in the back to make them really comfortable and they retail for thirty dollars so there are those and then next piece is this blouse from lucky brand i love the sleeves on this it has some elastic on the sleeves and this color is also perfect for fall it's a really pretty um it's kind of a brownish color actually it's really pretty and then it has some like nice embroidery detail here on the neckline this is a size small lucky brand and this retail for 70 dollars Lucky Brand retails for a lot, but I feel like it kind of goes on sale and stuff a lot. And it's at TJ Maxx and like Marshalls a decent amount of time, but I'll probably list this around like 35 or so and hope for somewhere around there. This next blouse is going to be perfect for Halloween. So it was actually sold um, at Hot Topic, but it is the little character Karimi. I looked that up. I think that's how you say it. 
but it's actually the same brand as Hello Kitty. So it almost kind of looks like a little Hello Kitty, but with some, a little skull and stuff, but it's really cute. It has some little black heart buttons and then it has this collared neckline and some lace on the sleeves. So this is really cute and this could be an adorable little outfit for Halloween or something. So I grabbed that and then I actually think this, oh, and that is an extra large. And then I want to show you this because it'd be so cute with it. This is also Hot Topic extra large, new tag. And it is this plaid little pleated mini skirt. It does have this like grommet belt, which you could take off though. And I don't know, that would be such a cute little outfit with the black and the white and the like almost schoolgirl vibe. I would love that, that's so adorable. So hopefully someone grabs those for a cute Halloween party outfit or something. And then this next piece is a little like corset crop top. And I, this is like a animal kind of like paper print. And this is new tag again. And this is from Zara, it's a size large, and it does have a zipper up the back. So there's that piece. And then, oh, I found two wallets. So they are Beer Bradley, and they are both new tags. So they are both like the trifold wallet. So def definitely a bigger kind of style wallet. And this is the Marrakesh motifs and it is suggested retail at $48. So I found this one and then I also found a, another one. So yeah, they're very similar styles, just a little bit different. Um, this one again is new attack. I think this one might be a little bit older. It seems like maybe a little bit of an older style, but very similar. Just like the other one has a few more like um, interior pockets and everything. So. Yeah, I grabbed both of those. That's super easy to like list and everything and hopefully look up as well. And then next we have a couple men's pieces. This is um, REI Co-op and these are a 50 waist and 32 length pant. And these are new tag and they are a zip um, off like shorts. So these can become shorts or pants, perfect for hiking and any other outdoor activity. And then these were actually with those. I think they might have been someone's throwback, but I ended up grabbing them. This is Worldwide Sportsman. These are a 3X um, slash 30. I'm not sure if that 30 is probably the length, I would assume. But these again are very similar. Zip off into shorts. They both have some like zippers on the sides. And this one just has this tag on it, but I it's, feel like it's still pretty new with tag. So grab that. And then a few more new with tag pieces. This is a dress from Old Navy, size 2X. It retailed for $45. And this is a really pretty maxi dress. It is tiered, it has some nice puff sleeves on it, and a really pretty like textured white and I am definitely keeping an eye out for white dresses and just like more bridal looks for things because everybody needs them. I know for me, um, I don't know, it's fun to wear white for stuff because I, in my normal life, I'm not wearing like a really pretty white dress every day. So I've definitely have found some looks for bridal events I'm doing um, on Poshmark and stuff. So I do keep an eye out for cute pieces that other people can wear. And that's awesome that that is a nice size. That would be adorable for like a bridal shower or something. And then we have this pair of pull-on wide leg jeans. And this is the brand Knox Rose, which again is a Target brand. And size extra large, these retail for $30. So these are gonna be great for the fall. And then what do we have? Oh, we just have one more piece. And this I think I'll just probably send into the real real maybe i don't know we'll see i finally they finally got back to me and they did compensate my items that they lost so that was good at least but it took like i don't know over, like over a month to finally get someone to help me with that so that was annoying but i do have some stuff i've been wanting to send into them 
Um, these are size 14. They retailed for $555. And these actually have a TJ Maxx tag on here for $150. These are um, Armani. And yeah. So here are these. They kind of have a little bit of a sheen to them. But they're just like some trouser pants. Um, so nothing too exciting. But awesome find at the bins for a $500 um, item at the bin. So I did grab those. We'll see. I'll look up how much um, the Real Real would price those at. A lot of times they only mark pants at around $50. So I'll see if that's something that they're just going to mark at $50. Um, maybe I'll try to sell it myself. We'll see. And then also, like I said, went into the traditional retail store um, in the same building and found a couple pieces. This first item is a little dress and it is a purple. It has like a little flutter sleeve and this is like kind of new with tags. It just has the Marshalls tag on here, um, but the brand is Free People. It's a size eight. It has a nice little cutout on the back and I grabbed this because it was a newer Free People item because it had this kind of tag with the little like size right here. That means it's a newer piece from Free People, Urban Outfitters, and Anthropology, if that has that interior tag. So I grabbed that. It was only six dollars, so hopefully that will do okay. And then I grabbed this. This is my first time at picking this brand up. Um, it is Pomander Place, and it's a size extra small, small. And this is sold at Tucker Nuck. I don't know if it's only sold there or like if it's a Tucker Nuck brand or what, but this is just a cute like pullover collared sweat, like kind of lightweight sweatshirt material. Really nice crisp white still. So I grabbed that because I do like selling Tucker Nuck a lot. And then here is a pair of pants. These are Madewell and they are new with tag. And these are from 2022, I'm pretty sure, oh no, 21. So pretty recent still though, but they are a textured jogger and then this really cool, just like burnt orange kind of rusty color. So great for fall. They have some cute little back pockets, good size, everything like that. So I grabbed those. And then I did grab a swimsuit. This one is a one piece swimsuit and it has a cross um, straps and then like a little bit of a low back. And this is the brand Andy. And this is new with tag. And these retail for like a hundred ish. So comps looked pretty good around like 50 or so. So I grabbed this to try out. The pads are still there and everything. And then I grabbed this top. This is from Balance Athletica. Their little logo is this triangle. And this brand has done pretty good for me in the past. So I decided to pick this piece up. It is a cropped like zip up jacket size medium and there was actually more of it i only grabbed a few pieces i grabbed a pair of black leggings from them this is also in a medium this logo is a little bit cracked so i probably should have left these behind but i still grabbed them these do match the top they are both a medium they're both black so maybe someone will want to grab those as a set this pair is in really good condition a really pretty purple color and these are in a size small so i picked those ones up there was also another black but they had a little bit more wear so i left that um pair behind and then also grabbed this pair that is blue tie-dye and this i believe is also a size small yeah so these are a size small as well so those are all of the activewear I grabbed. And then I found this piece from Everlane, size medium. And this is a short sleeve sweater. And this is mostly alpaca, so it kind of has that um, fuzzy kind of look to it. So I grabbed that. It didn't seem shrunk or anything at all, which is awesome. And then last piece from, the last piece? Yeah, last piece from in there I found this dress it is more of a career style dress and it is from mm lafleur 
in this piece is a size eight, really pretty red and a little bit of a V-neck and more of like a sheath. I want to say, I think sheath is not, I think shift is more like to your body and then sheath is not as straight to your body. I don't know. I always have to look it up every time I list a dress that's either a sheath, sheath or a shift dress, but yeah, I grabbed that. This brand does pretty well. Um, it does retail for a good amount of money, so hopefully that piece will do pretty well. And that is this whole haul, so a little bit of a bigger haul, so I hope you enjoyed that. And please subscribe if you are not already. You can also click the little bell notification next to the subscribe button if you want to be notified whenever I do post videos. I try to post at least once a week, usually twice a week. And yeah, thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.